Well, Gill has been stellar. Ooh, watch out, his hair's about getting his way. You better move your hair, you better whip that thing back and forth into a ponytail. The fastest finisher, one of only two who finished the OKC Finals. But we have seen one great ninja after another get knocked out tonight on stage one. Lots of problems here on the giant log grid. He needs his vision. The hair's blowing around here in the wind. See it. We've seen this take out some of the greats, but Gil survives. He got off that thing real quick. Well, this guy, an opera singer, and now a professional dancer, a true renaissance man. Now facing another deadly obstacle, the jumping spider. And he knows how to do exactly that. Hit it deep in there on the jumping spider. And Daniel Gill is flying! Well, he seems to get more confident with every course he takes here at American Ninja Warrior. Look at the sophomore go. There is no sophomore slump when it comes to Daniel Gill. It's about that sophomore success. 5'9", 150, and he is purpose-built here. Yeah, that's right. He looks totally in control with three obstacles to go. And right up the warped wall, and he's got a shot of the top time of the night out of Brian Arnold. It's going to be close, though. Arnold finished with 14 seconds on the clock. Come on. Get on that broken bridge. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Daniel Gill. Well, we've not had many finishers, but Gill is owning this course right now and onto the Flying Squirrel. He's got the time. Just don't make a mistake. There we go now. And onto that second set of handles. Daniel Gill continues his run of success up on the net. And he is moving. Well, he's got a shot at the top time. And he's going to do it. Daniel Gill hits the buzzer. And the sophomore moving on to stage two. Well, we saw this take out Kevin Bull a minute ago, but watch Gill on the giant log grip. He kept his legs wrapped around the log the entire time and then just stepped down to the pad, and he's got the fastest time of the night.